All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are going to be taking a look at another parts mod in the form of the Kerbal NRAP, or as I shall refer to it from now on, the NRAP, because, well, that's just easier to say. Now, this part is being made by form user Cotisoft, and what it adds to the game, if we go to the Science tab, is this NRAP test part, which is fun and interesting because, well, it is an unmanned command pod that, if we go down to this test weight here, you have the ability to change the mass, the height, and the diameter of this part uh, to basically whatever you want, within reason, of course. The mass can be changed between 0 0.01 and 1,000 tons. The height uh, between 0.2 to 5. And the base diameter, I don't remember quite what its limits are at the moment. But we can find out in just a second. Now, if we just pop this on, like I said, it does function as a command module. And what it has to it is the usual things for a command module. It has a reaction wheel, SAS, electrical charge, monopropellant. A little interesting though because, well, it has quite the electrical charge at 1000, and the reaction wheel especially is a 20 on the torque for pitch, roll, yaw, and roll, which is quite, uh, uh, quite a bit considering the next in line is the Mark 1-2 with 15 torque. Uh, the rest of the capsules seem to have anywhere between 2 or less, up to 10. But no, this one, this one, we've got the uh, uh, full 20, which is uh, quite a bit of torque on the reaction wheel. But the fun part about this, as I said, is it is an adjustable test weight for the purposes of testing your ships. Now, thanks to the sub-assembly system that we have in-game now, uh, you can make all sorts of rockets and then just plop a rocket onto whatever payload you're wanting to send up. But previously, you know, you'd have to build your payload in here, whether it be a satellite or a space station or whatever, and then you add on your subassembly rocket to get it into space. But how do you know that that subassembly, say my heavy launcher that I love to death here, how do we know that this will actually launch up the payload of, say, a space station that I want to send up into orbit? Well, that's where this mod comes in. If we right-click on the NRAP test part, you have this little toggle window button here, which brings up this interface that allows you to change the mass, the diameter, and the height of the craft. Now, say we want to adjust the diameter, you can bring it all the way down to 0.6 meters up to 5 meters, and it becomes quite a stubby little thing. But let's keep it at the point, or the 2.5 rather, and say I'm wanting to send up a module for a space station. You can see it, it does uh, stretch some things a little. It does still have some bugs, so I would not suggest uh, doing things too crazy at the moment. Uh, that is one of the issues with this. I have been using this a lot recently, and I've been keeping the height multiplier at the default and then just changing the mass because yeah that height multiplier is still a bit buggy but still as long as you don't make it too much it's it doesn't affect things too horribly now the diameter uh, that is a different story you can take it do that to whatever you want and it tends to be just fine uh, but the fun part of course is the mass now all of these adjustments that you make don't actually change so if we change it to 100 if we close this, it'll still be at 10 mass, so you actually have to hit the supply button, and you'll see it is now at 100 mass, which is a quite a large ship to try and send up, or payload, rather. And yeah, so that now allows me to test my heavy rocket, or heavy launcher design, to see if it can, in fact, send up a hundred tons. Now, I, I already know that this uh, rocket cannot. My heavy launcher is only really a medium launcher. 
uh, but it still nonetheless you could use this to test out whatever sub assembly you have that you want to use so let's go and try and launch this thing it, I, I don't think it will at 100 but who knows maybe we'll get off the ground a little bit uh, just so you can see that it does indeed have the reaction wheel SAS all of that and that it loads just foo I was about to say just fine but we had a little bit of a bug there I'm wondering if this thing is actually still attached we'll find out in a moment my rocket does not seem to be functioning okay well <laughs> I we do indeed seem to have detached ourselves which ooh, not the best show of this mod at the moment let's revert to the vehicle assembly building <laughs> ooh. Huh, I swear, just before starting recording, this thing was working just fine. Let's pop this baby off. Start just fresh anew. And bring that there. Put in the heavy launcher. And we'll just launch it straight from here without adjusting anything. I'm wondering if it's because I adjusted things several times and then went to launch let's find out we'll bring it up it looks all attached this time there we go so just a slight bug in it uh, I think it was because I was adjusting it multiple times as you can see we have SAS on it quite the strong reaction wheel I mean look at that normally with other capsules it doesn't move this much when using the reaction wheel but uh, wow that uh, that's quite the movement, but that is, that's enough for testing that. Let's revert back to the vehicle assembly building and try messing around with its functions again. Now that we know that it did in fact attach and was able to launch, let's now try adjusting it, say to uh, 3.75 and 25 tons. Apply that, close, and go to launch here. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping that it works. <laughs> uh, so in my test so far, I've just been trying it straight away. It all does look attached. Yeah, I think it was because I changed it multiple times. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I, I think it was because I changed it multiple times back and forth and then went to launch. It just kind of screwed it up a little bit. So, like I said, it is a little buggy at the moment, but still quite useful. We've got this stubby looking thing. And it is 25 tons, and it is functioning. And yeah, that's enough of that. If we go back to the vehicle assembly building, I want to show off one other bug that I do know for a fact is an issue at the moment. Now, if you'll notice, whenever I attached things, I brought in this first and then just attached it, my subassembly, straight away. Now, there is a reason for that. If we go to toggle and change the height multiplier to say to apply and then try and attach our subassembly you'll notice we don't have an attachment point down here the attachment point is actually in fact up here it's a little strange you'll get clipping it does still work kind of <laughs> so yeah the height multiplier does still seem to be buggy on it but I think it'll still be quite useful for anyone wanting to test their ships uh, just because of the mass and the diameter. Those two definitely seem to work just fine without any issues. Now I'm actually going to try one thing because the height multipliers seem to spread out things. Ah yes, if we squeeze it all in, there we go. It is. Wow, look at that. That <laughs> is something new right there. That's kind of creepy, but also kind of cool. Now, if we don't save that and go over to the space plane hangar, uh, it does, in fact, still work in there, which is quite cool. So, again, if you're wanting to test out a new plane design and not wanting to sacrifice a Kerbal, but you still want this thing to look like it should, if we bring it down to the 1.25... Make it, say, five tons and apply. We should be able to just strap on my spaceship test subassembly here for this plane. And, oh, we'll need to add a wheel to the front of this. Oh, my, I always forget where wheels are. And here we go. 
You'd think I'd remember that after all this time, but no, no, I don't. And we go to launch. It should be just fine. Now, it, if you are building planes, you're, you probably won't have as much use for this thing. But nonetheless, it is still there if you want to test out a new plane without wasting a Kerbal's life because, well, you'll probably kill him. You can! Now, you all know if you've watched me for a while, I'm horrible at making planes. So that's bound to happen. But <laughs> uh, the test part survived. A Kerbal wouldn't have. Uh, but it's still good to know that it does work, in fact, in the space plane hangar. And if you actually know how to make a decent plane, well, that might work out for you much, much better than it does for me. Oh my, I am really awful with planes. Uh, but yeah, that is the Kerbal NRAP mod. I, I really do enjoy it, mainly because I love my heavy launcher subassembly, but it has limitations as to how heavy of a thing I can send up. And I've been using this mod here to test out different parts. I'll make a space station in a different save, figure out how heavy it is, and then I'll go to my heavy launcher pop on this baby here and adjust the weight accordingly to fit to see if it will in fact lift up that large of a payload. And it works as intended for the most part except for the height multiplier. Uh, definitely if you're going to be using this mod don't play around with the height multiplier too much because well it does. Wow that actually kind of looks cool. <laughs> Yeah, don't play around with the height modifier too much until they uh, fix that. But diameter definitely works just fine, as does the mass. I have not had any issues with that so far. Uh, but yeah, it, it's definitely useful. I hope you all go and check it out for yourself. You can follow the links in the description to go and download it on either the forum or the spaceport. Though I believe the forum post sends you to the spaceport to download, so just head to the spaceport. Well, yeah, I hope you try it out and enjoy it yourself and that you get some use out of this mod. I know I have. And, of course, I hope you did enjoy this video and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Oh, jeez, that is... That is quite the thing. That is <laughs> have a good one, guys.